Everything in D-First happens inside whiteboards. That's where your marketing activities come to life, with AI agents planning and executing tasks step-by-step. -step. To get started, I'll ask the AI agent to create a Black Friday campaign promoting Nike sneakers with a spotlight on the Jordan collection. The AI will review my request and might ask a few questions to make sure the campaign is personalized, aligned with my audience, and focused on my goals. I'll respond using the details I have from my brief, but if you don't have all the information, you can simply skip and continue. Once my answers are processed, I'll get a step-by-step -step plan to reach my goals. If everything looks good, just click the button to create the workflow from those steps. If you want a zoomed out view of your content, just right click and select show node content when zoomed out. The first colored node is your AI request. You can tweak and regenerate it anytime. From there, all your workflow steps will be generated automatically, starting here with an Instagram scraper. Each step is connected, so information flows from one to the next, keeping your outputs aligned with your goals. And at the end of each node, there's a configure button where you can see what's driving the generation, like the AI model and prompt being used. You can also tweak settings such as reasoning effort or enable web search so the AI agent can dig into the web for extra context that aligns with your request. From the node's bottom menu, you can also expand the generated content for easier viewing. In this mode, you can also edit the text and use AI copy tools to adjust it to your needs. If you want to make a generation easier to visualize, you can apply an operator. Think of operators as layout prompts that polish how your outputs look. In my case, I'll choose one for visual and brand guidelines. Once I hit regenerate, notice how the output becomes cleaner and more organized, making it easier to see the key aspects of my guidelines. Now let's say I want this result to guide future whiteboard generations. To reuse it easily, I can just click save and add it to the data room. From there, my content will always be available in the whiteboard sidebar of my current workspace, so I can easily drag it into any canvas to guide future generations. As your campaign progresses, you'll see the AI move from research to strategy and then on to creating visual assets and supporting copy. Trying out new result variations is easy. Just select the node you want and click Regenerate. Notice how changing the image prompt updates the output slightly each time I regenerate both. The great part is you can experiment with AI agents to see what they can do. For example, I'll turn my image into a short animation using a video agent. I have two nodes to connect to provide the needed context, one with the prompt and the other with the image. Once I click Generate, this AI agent will create an animation of the image based on the prompt instructions. Pretty cool, right? But there's more. You can create new outputs from any existing node. I've picked my Instagram scraper and dragged its connection line anywhere on the whiteboard. A universal prompt pops up where I can enter my request. Here, I want the AI to analyze my Instagram comments, detect sentiment, and offer suggestions to respond effectively. Once my request is processed, I get a single node with an AI agent ready to handle my task. Look at all the actionable insights it pulled from my Instagram comments. These are ways the AI agent can manage your workflow, but if you prefer, you can build it manually. To show you how, let's start by creating a new whiteboard. My first step is to add some context. I'll open the sidebar menu and pull in files I've already saved in my data room, like my website and target audience analysis. I'll also just paste my Instagram URL directly into the whiteboard. Next, I'll add a text agent to pull everything together. I'll link the nodes and then go to the configurations to choose the AI model and write my prompt. In this case, I simply asked for two strategic scenarios and let the AI refine the prompt for me. Once the generation is complete, I can move on to the next steps. I've opted to add two text nodes and link them to the recent generated step. I set up the node to generate an image prompt for one of the scenarios. The prompts were instantly refined and I repeated the process for the second node. The result is two prompts ready to guide image agents. So I'll head back to my tool list and add two new nodes, one for each prompt. Since we're creating product assets, I'll drag a reference image into the whiteboard. Then remember to link it to the right connection as well as the prompt. Next, I'll generate both, and you'll see that the final visuals match the reference image perfectly. This is how you can manually build workflows and keep full control of the process. To wrap up, let's add a title to the whiteboard and assign it to the right project for easier management. 